Have you ever met someone who learns a new buzzword or two and then just won't stop using them for weeks on end, even when they make no sense? Hello everybody, I'm Lavis, and the SCP I'm going to tell you about today is SCP-004-J. Stand from Accounting. Let's begin. Item number, SCP-004-J. Object Class, Euclid. Thaumiel. Special Containment Procedures. The entity is currently housed in the Site 8 North Wing Accounts Payable Office from Monday to Friday between the hours of 0800 to 1700 hours local, with one hour from 1200 to 1300 hours local spent in the North Cafeteria or traversing from there back to his desk. The entity may occasionally need to use the restroom, take breaks by walking the North Wing Corridor, or receive water from the water fountain. In the long term, the entity can be contained by biannual performance reviews indicating that we are pleased but think the entity is capable of more, and annual raises equivalent to rate of inflation plus 4 percentage points. The entity may also be enticed to remain in containment by pointing out the low cost of living, easy commute, and quality public parks. Description SCP-004-J is Stanley Nichols, a certified public accountant or CPA and former Chief Financial Officer for Redacted, currently employed by the Foundation. SCP-004-J is roughly 180 centimeters tall and weighs roughly 75 kilograms, Caucasian, with thinning brown hair and brown eyes. The entity has been in Foundation containment since July 1991, ostensibly in reply to a job posting. The anomalous properties of the entity manifested after the job was awarded, during mandatory psych and low-level amnestic administration. The staffer assigned to the task flatly refused to administer amnestics to the entity, claiming that SCP-004-J was, quote, a real visionary, and that, quote, it would be a waste of drugs and a needless capex hit. After a brief convention by the hiring department, the Compulsion and Cognitohazard Unit, and Site-04's subject matter expert on hazardous humanoids, the agreement was made to contain SCP-004-J under the premise of hiring them for the desired position in accounts payable. SCP-004-J appears to be a very capable accountant and has made commendable efforts in both lowering our annual capital expenditures budget while streamlining our vendor and purchase process for operating expenditures. Furthermore, their holistic approach to purchasing and leveraging the growing internationalization of the supply chain has caused a sea change in our view of the synergistic possibilities to creating a budget-conscious deliverable, leading to a paradigm shift of outsourced <clears throat> It appears the entity was in my vicinity briefly. To summarize, SCP-004-J has a distinct cognitohazardous field that will interfere with thought processes overriding thought patterns with new ones that encourage growing a business through a set of jargon commonly used by C-level executives, also known as buzzwords, while also impairing the ability to think critically. CT scans of the Foundation employees in the field of SCP-004-J showed a lowered neuron excitement state in the occipital cortex and the hippocampus. SCP-004-J was classified as Euclid in August of 1991. SCP-004-J was reclassified as Thaumiel in October of 1992 following a near-total containment breach in August of 1992 caused by structural damage suffered during Hurricane Andrew at Site during which SCP-004-J was exposed to SCP-106, the old man, which is classed as Keter and invariably hostile to human life. Rather than panic or hide, SCP-004-J began discussing the importance of residual income and annuities when structuring a quarterly budget. SCP-106 appeared wrapped with attention, materialized a business card, and agreed to join SCP-004-J for a lunch and learn at the soonest convenience. Further testing has shown the cognitohazard surrounding SCP-004-J affects not only humanoids, but every sentient life form that has been exposed. In furtherance of a hypothesis posed by Drs. McKinley and White, SCP-004-J was stationed outside the containment cell of SCP-682, the hard-to-destroy reptile, at a safe distance, but close enough to have the notorious creature in its cognitohazardous field. The following is an audio recording taken at the time between Dr. White and SCP-682. Kill. Killing. 
SCP-682, could you repeat that? Kill bottom line. I'm sorry? Amortization. Buying in this economy. Sucker bet. SCP-682, do you own property here? Synergize assets. Leveraging intellectual capital for flagship product. Note from researcher, at this point, three common white mice are introduced into SCP-682's containment cell. SCP-682 normally devours prey on sight. Ah, a conference call. I sense redundancies. We must smart size to better push the envelope in our core competencies. SCP-682 then dismembers and eats two of the three mice. I hope they find their severance suitable. Audio ends. Thanks for listening. If you liked that video, maybe you'll like this one too. Have a nice day.